At first, it would seem beautiful, almost poetic. Another moon, pale and luminous, rising alongside the one we've always known. The nights would be brighter, the skies richer. Poets would sing to dual moons. Lovers would point upward in awe. Humanity would marvel at the symmetry of it all. But beneath that beauty, everything would begin to change. Because two moons means two gravitational masters pulling on our oceans, our skies, our planet, and on us. And nature doesn't tolerate imbalance for long. Imagine this second moon, not a small satellite, not a passing rock, but a true lunar sibling, perhaps half the size of our current moon and orbiting just a bit farther out, locked in an elegant celestial dance. Every night, the sky would change depending on their phase relationship. On some nights, both moons would shine full casting twin shadows, turning midnight into a ghostly dusk. On others, one would wane while the other waxes, painting the sky in uneven halves of silver. But the romance ends when you look down at the oceans. Earth's tides are ruled by the moon. Now they'd be governed by two competing forces, constantly pulling in different directions. Tidal waves would become chaotic and extreme, rising higher, falling lower, and sometimes colliding when the gravitational tugs overlap. Coastal cities would face devastating floods on dual tide days, when both moons aligned to drag the seas farther inland than ever before. Sea levels wouldn't just fluctuate daily. They'd surge and crash like a breathing Earth in distress. Fisheries collapse. Harbors become unpredictable, maritime trade turns dangerous, and storms fueled by unstable tides gain violent new energy. But the oceans wouldn't suffer alone. Earth's axis, the invisible line around which the planet spins, relies on a single moon to stabilize it. Our seasons, climate, even long-term planetary wobble are all tethered to that one celestial anchor. Add a second moon, and the balance starts to shift. Earth begins to wobble more wildly over centuries, sometimes tilting more sometimes less. This wobble would wreak havoc on climates and season. Places that once had stable weather patterns would face unpredictable transitions. Tropical zones might cool. Temperate zones could freeze. Agricultural regions would need to adapt or vanish. Species would migrate erratically. Entire ecosystems could collapse under the strain of unreliable climate cycles. And then there's geology. Tidal forces don't just lift oceans, they lift crust. Our moon already causes Earth's crust to subtly bulge and sh With a second moon that strain doubles, creating more tectonic friction. Earthquakes would grow more frequent. Volcanic activity could increase. Subduction zones might grind harder, triggering massive quakes in areas that were once dormant. Imagine entire cities adapting to a world where the planet shudders every time both moons pass overhead. Humans of course would adapt. We'd build dual lunar calendars. One moon might govern agriculture, the other religious observance. Folklore would bloom each moon gaining its own mythology mythology, omens and superstitions. Cultures might divide, those who worship the first moon and those who follow the second. Some might even blame disasters on one moon or the other, turning celestial siblings into cosmic scapegoats. Science would advance in parallel. Astronomers would study lunar interactions obsessively. We'd develop technologies to forecast lunar tides the way we now predict weather. Space exploration might even accelerate, as we set our sights not just on visiting our moons but settling. Yes, if both both moons are close and stable, they could become stepping stones to the stars. Imagine twin lunar bases rotating in Earth's sky like beacons. Humanity living on both moons connected to Earth but growing apart, each colony developing unique identities, cultures perhaps even claiming sovereignty. A tri-world system born from one planet and two celestial children. But it's not all possible, because having two moons isn't just about gravity and light, it's about long-term stability. If the second moon's orbit isn't perfectly calculated, calculated if it's even slightly unstable, it would gradually spiral inward or outward. Over millennia it could crash into the first moon, shattering both into a ring of debris, a ring world like Saturn's circling Earth with a glowing band of rock and ice, beautiful but deadly. Or worse, the second moon might drift toward Earth. And if that happened, if one day the sky darkened and the second moon appeared larger, brighter, closer, there would be no stopping it. The tidal forces alone would tear the planet apart long before impact. Crust would crack. Oceans would rise, the sky would burn. A second moon, once a symbol of awe, would become a sign of doom. So what if Earth had two moons? We'd gain wonder and risk in equal measure. Brighter nights, deeper tides, chaotic seasons, new mythology. A planet forever changed by the slow, steady dance of two cold, silent companions circling above. And with every rise of twin moons in the sky, we'd remember. Sometimes beauty comes at a cost, sometimes balance is fragile, and sometimes one moon is more than enough.